Skin to skin care, um, also known as kangaroo care, is actually placing a baby, a newborn baby, only wearing a nappy onto their mother's or father's chest. Skin to skin care is really important for bonding, um, especially when um, you have a very preterm infant and you are very anxious. That's what makes you feel that it's your baby and feel the heartbeat, feel the breathing and just have it close to you. I think for parents that's a very special moment. Ziggy is 29 plus 6 weeks gestation. I was a little bit scared to take him out of there. I know I really wanted to do it but was it the best thing for him but the nurses here were fantastic that they encouraged it as, as soon as they believed it was the best thing for him and me. Even though you can be close to him in the incubator it's, um, it's nice to be able to get him out and actually hold him. He's been pretty good, he's pretty settled most of the time anyway but he just seems so happy when he's on one of us. So the study that we did here at the Royal Women's Hospital looked at 40 preterm infants that are less than 33 weeks gestation when they were born and we tried to uh, look at their skin-to-skin -skin contact when they were reasonably early. So we studied them in the first one or two weeks of life. We wanted to know is it really safe for these babies to come out for skin-to-skin -skin? and um, we could show um, that it is safe and that all these numbers that we measured remain stable during the process of skin-to-skin. -skin. It is very important that we know that skin-to-skin -skin is safe in these tiny preterm infants because we know that there are many benefits of skin-to-skin. -skin. Term infants, for example, they breastfeed much better if they are out for skin-to-skin -skin for a long time. And there are studies from developing countries showing that skin-to-skin, -skin, infants that are exposed to skin-to-skin -to -skin, compared to infants that are only in the incubator, they grow faster, so they put on much more weight, um, they have less infections and they're discharged earlier than infants that are only in the incubator. I think it's fantastic that the hospital is doing this kind of research to have the evidence there to um, encourage the parents and I suppose just give the parents that reassurance. Oh bless you. <laughs> just give the parents that reassurance um, that it is safe and it is okay and it's actually really good, you know, really good for them. And he is so settled on us. So um, I think that's another big thing that if he's a bit restless he comes onto us and he's just so settled and calm and I just never want to put him back. <laughs> um, it's just, um, you know, the love, the, the, just this feeling of, you know, I really feel like a mum. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable really, like the, yeah.